advancements in technology changing the way crimes are solved here in Maryland. Thanks for staying with WJZ. I'm Nikki Zizaza. And I'm Rick Ritter. Now, the big story we're following at 530, it's a database housing DNA in Maryland helping to solve crimes. But here's the problem. The system is decades old, but what's new, advancements in technology now that can actually lift these profiles from crime scenes and victims as well. WJZ takes you inside a state forensic lab. Christina Mendez is speaking with a scientist who walks us through how this system is helping catch criminals while clearing others. Technology is becoming more and more sensitive to picking up DNA from small or even compromised samples. This includes something called touch DNA, which forensic scientists say is exactly how it sounds. My skin cells would transfer right onto this GoPro after touching it, leaving behind a DNA profile on an object. DNA is your calling card, your signature. It plays a key role in solving crimes from catching suspects to clearing others. Maryland's DNA database functions out of the State Police Forensic Sciences Division Lab in Pikesville, where this month the 10,000th positive DNA match or hit was made. It took 22 years to get our first 5,000 hits, and then these last 5,000 hits have come just within six years. A hit happens when DNA from a victim or crime scene matches a DNA profile in a database called CODIS, a term you've probably heard thrown around on TV, crime shows, and movies. It stands for the Combined DNA Index System. It links crimes to individuals in the database across jurisdictions. Advancements in technology are helping to grow the DNA database. We're at the point where we can get reliable DNA profiles from not just blood stains or visible stains, but now we're dealing with touch DNA where people are simply transferring their DNA by coming in contact with something. Touch DNA is what gave Adnan Syed his first taste of real freedom after spending more than 20 years in prison. Baltimore City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby says shoes Heyman Lee was wearing at the time of her 1999 murder came back with a DNA mixture of multiple contributors. Syed was not one, clearing him from the case, but who that DNA may belong to is being held close to the vest. I can't tell you or reveal anything at this point because it's open and pending. It would be prejudicial to the individuals um, that have not yet been charged. Lee's murder is just one of thousands of examples showing how science and technology work together in criminal cases. The efficiency grows and we get hits quicker and quicker, and we can then use those hits to help. To solve crimes. Legislation requires anyone arrested and charged with certain violent crimes to submit a DNA sample, which then becomes part of the DNA database. I'm reporting from Pikesville. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ.